Good morning, people. Watch them at 65. Lisa Boyce, I'm going to give you the gospel. is in 1 Corinthians 15, 1 through 4. Christ spilled his blood for our past, present, and future sins, was buried, and rose again on the third day, according to Scripture. That's how you're saved. That's how you're kept saved. That is the gospel in which you're saved by. There is no other gospel. <clears throat> Excuse me, is grace through faith, <clears throat> excuse me, in Christ alone, not of ourselves, not of works, least any man should boast. You put yourself in it, you put works in it, you put works in it, you put yourself in it. That's the simple gospel. It is grace that God gave his only begotten son that whosoever believe in him will not perish but have eternal life. Once you accept Christ as your Savior. How do you do that? You come to the end of yourself. You admit you're a sinner in need of a Savior. And when you've done that, you've automatically repented. Repentance is a change of mind. You've automatically repented when you've accepted Christ as Savior. When you come to the end of yourself and say you're, in, you're a sinner in need of a Savior. And you simply believe in him. And the moment you do that, the Holy Spirit indwells in you. The Holy Spirit is your best friend. <clears throat> the Holy Spirit leads you and guides you into all righteousness. The Holy Spirit changes you. Not only are you saved and rapture ready, but the Holy Spirit seals you according to Ephesians 4.30. Which means you cannot lose your salvation. I don't know what part of seal don't people understand. Those who come against once saved, always saved. I, I have no clue. <clears throat> but you are sealed until the day of redemption. You will not lose your salvation. Now those who write and say, <clears throat> excuse me, my sinuses are messed up. Those who write and say, well, what about those who walk away? Well, you got to ask, were they saved in the first place? I'm just asking a question. Because the Bible does speak of that in 1 John. The Holy Spirit, and this is where, and I've said this before, this is where people make the biggest mistake. The Holy Spirit will not, the Holy Spirit is strong. He will lead you to where you have to go. People don't talk about the Holy Spirit. And that's a shame because the Holy Spirit will lead you. The Holy Spirit will guide you. The Holy Spirit will speak to you. That's one of the benefits of being saved amongst others. <clears throat> and people want to omit that. The Holy Spirit is not going to let you do something that you, is not going to let you go out or you're born again. And the Holy Spirit says, well, you know, or you say, well, you know, I can rob this bank. Because, you know, I'm still saved by grace through faith. So I can go out and do anything I want. That's not the Holy Spirit. That's Satan. Because there's freedom when you accept Christ as Savior. And the Holy Spirit is so into the believer that they don't want to do what they used to do. Whatever that was. Will we mess up? We do it all the time. But there's a difference. And you need to get into the Word. When you accept Christ as Savior, you're clean. That means, I mean, I don't understand why people <clears throat> insist on that, on saying stuff like that. I really don't, because you are clean when you accept Christ as Savior. And if the Holy Spirit, if the Lord, the Holy Spirit seals you, according to Ephesians 4.30, until the day of redemption, that means your spirit and soul is with the Lord. Now, we live in this flesh, which we mess up every day. But we know we can go back to the Lord and say, Lord, here I am. You are clean when you accept Christ as Savior.
I had to get that out there. Here's this article that came today. Folks, this is it. And I guess something is supposed to happen today um, with the phones and everything. Well, the thing of it is about that, I don't know what it is that's going to happen. Um, they had mentioned something about an emergency testing the phones. They're going to do that regardless. People, they can block, they can find you whether you have your phone on or off. It's just the technology that's today. I don't know why people think that if your phone is off or if you don't have certain apps on your phone, they can't track you. You can be tracked anywhere. Anywhere. I mean, that's just reality. So I don't know what's going to happen today. They got some kind of emergency broadcast um, or some kind of emergency testing going on today. I have no clue. I think I had mentioned it in a video. But that's what they're going to do. It'll be interesting to see what's going to happen today. But anyway, Russia and China hold a large-scale joint military drill. Now, Russia and China are holding large-scale joint military exercise in north-central China involving more than 10,000 troops. Russia's defense ministry said yesterday, according to Reuters. Um, <clears throat> the Cebu Cooperation 2021 drills in China's region are being watched for signs that China and Russia are expanding military cooperation as they spar with the West. Now listen very carefully. These are not exercises. These are not drills. It wouldn't surprise, you know what? I do believe in my heart of heart, and I could be wrong. We're in a full-scale war right now. We're just not, it's just not coming out It's that. I do believe we're in war right now. Someone sent me an article this morning saying that the United States is in DEFCON 2. I don't know about that. I have no idea, and I think they put that out because they're fearing that Israel is going to go up against Iran, and that would make sense in, in every sense of the, of the game. I mean, that would make perfect sense. All I know is this. As I stand here today and give you the gospel and give you the news, the church is about to get out of here. I have no clue what time, the exact time, but I know that we're about to leave. We're in the hour. And like I have been saying this week, we who are watching for the Lord to come back, we will know. We will know. We're getting hints. That's called discernment. We're getting hints as we speak. And personally, it'll be a pleasure to get out of here. Because I'm tired. And I'm sure other people can say the same thing. I am really tired. The drills come as the Taliban well let me get the let me read this Russia's um, newspaper said the drills taking place until Friday mark the first time Russian show, uh, soldiers would use Chinese weapons Russia and China have conducted drills since 2005 Moscow sent um, SU uh, 30 SM fighter aircraft motorized rifle units and air defense systems to the exercise that were that was focused on counterterrorism. the defense ministry said in a statement sure they're making every kind of excuse other than yeah we're in a war right now and we're getting ready to get deep into a war the drills come as the Taliban has gained ground in Afghanistan where security has deteriorated as the United States withdraws its troops after two decades of war, creating a security headache for Moscow. Separately, Russia on Tuesday compelled joint drills in um, Takistan with um, uh, Tazik forces near the Afghan border. According to Al Jazari, the media, 
there is the exercise is aimed to deepen joint anti-terrorism operations and demonstrate the firm determination and strength of the two countries to jointly safeguard international and regional security and stability. Wow. China's official news agency reported citing Chinese and Russian officials. It reflects the new height of the China-Russia Comprehensive Strategic Partnership of co uh, Coordination for a new, a new era and of the strategic mutual trust. That's a bunch of BS. Sorry. They're in cahoots. Oh, yeah. They're in bed together. So is Iran. So is North Korea. So are all of your other rogue nations. Absolutely. For one goal, and one goal only, to annihilate Israel and to annihilate the United States. Make no mistake about it, the church is on its way out of here because we're not appointed to wrath. Now people are saying, and someone wrote me this morning and said that people are saying that the judgments and the seal judgments and the bold judgments and the trumpet judgments are all about to happen. No, they're not. That don't happen until after the rapture. Folks, we're not in the great tribulation yet. We're seeing what's going to happen. And I consider it a privilege. And I thank God that he's giving me a glimpse of what's happening right now. Because he said in his word, he has not appointed his church to wrath. And I stand on his word. On Christ the solid rock I stand. All other ground is sinking sand. So I stand on his word, I stand on his promise, and I trust him. I just got chills for some reason. But I trust him with all of my heart, soul, and mind that he will get us out of here before it gets bad. And I ask you to do the same thing. We are not in the trumpet judgments, the bold judgments, or the seals. But when the rapture happens, all hell, it will break loose. I don't know. <clears throat> I don't know whether these wars are going to bring it. It might. It might. I'm just saying it's strong, strong possible possibility. But all I know is that there's so much happening right now. And there's so much happening that we don't even know about right now and if we did know it would bring it would probably a lot of people would probably just faint or drop dead from a heart attack from fear so just trust God that's all we can do we're not subject to wrath the church is not subject to wrath it says so in his word Revelation 3.10 says I will bring you out of not put you through Bring you out. I got a few articles on my blog, so you might want to go there and look at them. And they are horrific, to say the least. I will be back later with uh, the next uh, video. In the meantime, God bless.